What is up YouTube? Welcome to this Walking Dead video, mid-season video review. Now, I apologise for my voice because I am stupidly very, very ill, but I can't help but make a video for you lovely, lovely people. So, this is it. This is the mid-season finale, and for me, this has been the best season yet since episode one, mainly because it is almost very, very accurate to the comics as accurate as, as it can be in a season where a lot of things are different obviously Angela is not with Rick because she's dead so Miss Sean is keeping him warm at night so yeah and we've got Daryl who wasn't even in the comics but Negan has proved to be one of the best things in Walking Dead Season 7, albeit people are turning off of the show for some reason, and I'm not really sure why they are doing that, because so far it is one of the best. However, I can understand why people would be stopping watching, because really last season just didn't really go anywhere, but those who were fans of the comic knew exactly what was coming with Negan, and they knew that how amazing he would actually be, but... There we go, we've got the kingdom, which they haven't even bothered exploring that much at all, aside from a very campy reveal when we saw Carol and Morgan turn up there, only to be showered with love from them. So it's shocking that they haven't really explored that, and I think that this half of the season has been very light because of it. I think that it could have helped some of the more boring episodes if... They weren't focused on the Oceanside people. Um, as, bit, as I loved that episode, I did feel that maybe other people didn't. So adding a, another layer or a different location to that episode, like they usually do in most TV shows, would have been a lot better. So we got to see Daryl escape, and I felt that that kind of really ruined the arc of him in the show I feel that well he had a chance to escape which was kind of a show thing and here he has escaped after being treated like crap now he didn't really have much of a payoff apart from fat Joey dying who was the one who was keeping the herd away from everything and redirecting it so yeah expect a huge herd kind of thing next up in the latter half of the season I expect that to also play in with the all out war storyline so we could see the war or possibly the uprising from the kingdom screwed over due to a herd coming in, perhaps, which could play a huge, huge, huge problem for the people who are fighting against Negan. Now, interestingly, the bullet making storyline was a big thing in the comics. We had obviously the society making their bullets but then eventually it gets found and taken over by Negan and Eugene plays up to the fact that he wants to side with Negan because he is so upset that he's been pretty much useless and I'm not sure what's going to happen here is he going to play that same way again is he going to really help out Negan I guess he's going to have to because otherwise Negan will kill everyone he loves because being able to make bullets in this post-apocalyptic world is a very very big thing and hugely helpful to anyone who is easily possible to make bullets so it will give him a lot more power and huge power over the hilltop and also Alexandria who have no weapons but the hilltop do have I would think just a bit more than Alexandria do. What's interesting now is that Michonne now knows where the sanctuary is, which is a huge, huge, huge thing because, well, she's seen how impregnable it is, or impregnable, whatever it is, whatever the words are, it is because, well, it does seem like she's going to need a lot more help. So I think that with the addition reveal of the kingdom, well, they're going to be able to use that and use that as an advantage to 
get more people to help them out because they're really going to need it because the sanctuary is one hell of a fortress. And in the comics, they almost completely fuck it up. Now, earlier in this video, I was talking about how much I loved the fact that they played to the comics and the Spencer scene was almost panel for panel, just like the comics. Now, the problem is that they weren't sitting on a doorstep or a kind of stoop, whatever you want to call it in American terms, the porch. He was there, he was just playing pool with him and thinking that, yes, this will be a good idea. I'm going to try and be sneaky with the guy who is absolutely psycho. Clearly didn't work, but I like the fact that Rosita decided that's it. <laughs> Why would no one else try and absolutely kill him? And then it shot Lucia, which I thought was a bit shit. I thought that it's very, very, very convenient. But it shows now, and he'll probably get even more power, the fact that he survived an assassin attempt like that. Now what's interesting is the group are back together, and we've got Maggie there at the hilltop siding with them. So it's going to be a big thing, and I expect that that douchebag ex-leader of the hilltop, or still leader, whatever he is at the moment, he will probably play a huge thorn in their side. But we're going to have the group, and we're going to have all-out war, because all the promotional shots for the second half of the season are promoting Rising Up, which is a big thing, and we'll see a huge war, but expect the kingdom to group up as well. We've got Carol, we've got Morgan now convinced to fight, so expect them to be reaching out to the Alexandrians. And you've got that post credit scene, which seems we're getting the whisperers, but I can't see that happening whatsoever. I can't see it because they only actually came into contact with Rick and co because Rick and co and the kingdom people went into their territory. So there is that. But I wouldn't expect them so early so soon. Maybe with the kingdom people looking on Alexandria or if it is the Oceanside people. But that's it for this video. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.